The first episodes of a new 12 part podcast called I Am Kobe were released yesterday, featuring recordings with a teenage Kobe Bryant as he was finishing up at Lower Marion High School outside Philadelphia. They were conducted by his assistant coach and liaison, Jeremy Treatman, who was planning on writing a book with Bryant, but that never came to fruition. We welcome Erica Weston tonight with an interview you'll only see on KCAL 9. Hey, my name is Kobe Bryant, and I love to play basketball. And it's always been my dream, my goal to play in the National Basketball Association ever since I was, I was four or five years old. And I've always loved the game. Uh, I love the smell of the leather, hardwood, the concrete on the playground, switch to the net. And I just, I just really love the game. I don't know where that came from. But it's always been there. Let's go all the way back as to why you have your hands on these tapes. The two of you many moons ago set out to write a book together, correct? That is correct. Both Kobe and his father, Joe Bryant, approached me and I approached them because they had let me in on their secret that Kobe was going to jump from high school to the NBA. And after maybe a week, I came back to them with this idea of doing a book following his first year in the NBA and the senior year in high school. I'm just going to be the same person that I've been up to this point. In high school, I was just you know, a basketball player with a lot of confidence that went out there and played well and just wanted to win the basketball game. You know, and that's what I'm going to be. I'm going to be a basketball player. You know, that just enjoys the play. Let's fast forward now. Almost 30 years later, you find these tapes in a crawl space. How did this come about and your first reaction when you came across them? It is true. I had misplaced them because um, I've moved a few times. And as I was moving to Florida, I had looked for them before and hadn't found them. I didn't realize I took them out of my Kobe box and put them in another box. <laughs> I definitely had thought they were lost before. And when I came across them, I'm like, oh my God, there they are. Here they, here they are, these, these magical cassette tapes uh, that are so meaningful to me and, and, and more to Kobe. Some of the tapes I want to play for you are from when Kobe was a senior at Lower Marion High School near Philadelphia. All of them are from the time in his life when he was still just 17 or 18 years old, when he was just beginning his path to glory. This is Kobe as he was figuring out who he would be. I always played basketball uh, with my family. We moved to Italy. I was raised over there. I think matured very well over there, faster than anybody else here in America, maybe. And when I came back, I had to adapt the lifestyle. I loved the game of basketball because it was totally different, more fast-paced, life was more upbeat. Playing a basketball floor it was more physical, so I had to adapt. You have to realize that on a nightly basis, a guy can come out and kill you. <laughs> so you just have to prepare yourself. And I, I think that, I know I'm going to prepare myself. And if a guy comes out and kill me, I'm not going to sit back and just let him kill me. I'm going to do everything I can to stop him. And if you, even if he does light me up, I have to look at the video tape and say, what did he do that that beat me every time? <laughs> Next time I play him, I'm going to know every move. I'm going to know when he touches his nose, when he touches his ear, I'm going to know everything. What do you hope that fans of Kobe and his life, his family, his legacy, everything, when they listen to this podcast, what do you want them to get out of this? It made an impact that mediocrity is not accepted. And you can, you can feel it in these tapes. And, and he inspired, he was inspiring his teammates through through my interviews with them, you know, saying, I hope they understand what, what's at stake here and I hope they keep working harder and I hope they realize when I'm winning all these drills that it's it's also to, to motivate them to work harder. And, and like he, ha he had that gift way back then. So that's what I want people to remember. 